With action speed, accuracy, aim, these are such crucial things. Even the slightest delay in decision making can cost a life. But what if I tell you how to gain an advantage without doing practically anything? Many of you are 100% familiar with the canter side. That is, using it allows for faster aiming, a great helper for guns with the poor ergonomics. Its main problem with its complete incompatibility with the 7.62x39 caliber, as well as its inability to be used on weapons with high recoil. As a result, there was a very narrow range of weapons for which it made sense to use it. Typically, this was all sorts of monsters with the 1000 round magazines and barrels switching up to the shoreline seagull. I conducted a small test to see how things stand with it at the moment. Let's start with the simple part. Is the canter sight really used faster than the regular one? To test this, all I had to do was exchange the M4A1 for 4 gold points, slightly upgraded and compare in two versions. At first glance, it's not immediately apparent. Both guns seem to aim fast enough. But what if we compare frame by frame? And here we see in slow motion that with the regular M4 calimator it takes 29 milliseconds to aim, while with the canted one it's only 22. This means that the second option is 32% more effective. And uh, that's significant! 7 milliseconds is equivalent to two shots at a rate of fire of 800 rounds per minute. Another question is how comfortable it is to use it such a side. If we take the same M4A1, this is what the spray looks like with the regular sight, and this is with the canted one. Overall, there's not much difference, the dot is still visible, and control on your shots is just as comfortable. The entire 7.62x39 caliber in this swipe is half dead. It's unclear why the developer leaves it in such a state, but that's another question. The only guns worth playing with are the R D704 and uh, the Mutant, but the Mutant was already well compatible before. Questions are only for the RD. Putting on just a suppressor and installing two sides to quickly compare, I started shooting. And I want to say that it's quite comfortable. I don't feel any discomfort at all in direct comparison. So even here is quite a viable option. The IK-2 grip is the only tactical grip that instead of providing ergonomics takes it away. Because of this, its price seems illogical to me. But at the same time, it reduces recoil more than any other. The only way to use it is precisely in combination with the such a side. In all other cases, this tactical grip simply doesn't make sense. However, don't assume that the canter side is a panacea. It doesn't make your ergonomics 100 point. It just slightly speeds up the aim downside's time. For example, if you take the same SA-58, assemble it for a minimum recoil, at the cost of completely killing ergonomics, we'll find that the time to aim with the both the regular and canter side isn't significantly different. Yes, it's indeed faster, and you can get off a couple of shots earlier, but this will not cause the pedal to suddenly become playable. Listen, buddy, do you go to the gym? Yeah, baby, you're so pretty. Uh, yes, so what? Well, I've been getting some weird ideas popping up. Maybe you know what it is. Decided to pump up your chest muscles, so don't forget to pump up your scale. Subscribe to Patreon, otherwise you won't find hundreds of weapon builds. Damn, how do I skip this? There's so many guys there, it's insane! Breakdown of all mechanics, really cool stuff. Oh, looks like I finished watching. ADS? Oh no! If you want to go to the gym, subscribe to Patreon. No. To use the stash, subscribe to Patreon. No. To go on raid, subscribe to Patreon. Subscribe to Patreon. Subscribe to Patreon. Subscribe to Patreon. No. Link in the description and comments. There's a certain type of recoil in this wipe. It's inherent in weapons that were almost unplayable in the past because of it. 
such as the AVT, PKP, Automatic Glock, PPSH and the SA-58. In this wipe, they just shake chaotically when firing. Of all the guns, only the SA is compatible with the Canada sight, and I want to know that such weapons are much more suited to sights that are as close to face as possible to see where you shoot it. And even though the Canada one seems like you can hit with it, it doesn't move the dart, but playing with it is definitely not as convenient as the holographic one. The SVDS was also previously an extremely poor choice for such a combination, but it always stood out for its terrible ergonomics when using a suppressor. In the realities where any optics cost astronomical amounts, I really wanted to use the PSO in combination with it, but the lack of a 1x magnification greatly complicates adequate play in such a setup. Therefore, the Canada side could be panacea, and here's a visual comparison. Things are much better than before, the barrel doesn't kick as much, the dot doesn't fly away. So here we also have an option for such implementation. I also want to highlight one feature. If you decide to assemble some Trollolo gun like the M4A1 with the long barrel and a huge magazine with the zero ergonomics, here's the situation. In essence, the difference in aiming speed won't be so significant when using different types of sights. But there's a catch. With the terrible ergonomics, Amy starts to more noticeable split in two stages. There's the moment when the character just enters the site, and the, the moment when he brings the site to the center of the screen. And the canter site goes through the first stage much faster than the regular one. As a result, it's easier to start figuring out where to aim. I think it's a great idea to combine the canter site with the M1A SR25. J28 and RSS. They have always paired well, but there's one caveat. You can't use the Elkan optical sight. It has its own mechanical side that you'll constantly switch to, which won't allow you to use the Kenta side properly. However, when playing with the ways of Voodoo, Tag 30, etc., it doesn't make sense to overpay, because the 1x magnification is very convenient in close combat. Therefore, the only option is when you choose some non-standard optics with high magnification. They are cheap, and buying additional sight will be much cheaper than using the same Tango. Pay attention to the mounts you install. Sometimes one side may obstruct the view in the second side, and that's cringer worthy. Which canter side to choose exactly? Yes, indeed, there are many of them, but I prefer the delta point. Is that wobbles the list, and overall, it's my favorite. You can get the fast fire for free by exchanging it with the mechanic and removing it from a pistol. It's also good and many people use it. Under no circumstances should you take things like the T1, Romero, H2, they are complete crap. They are not good for anything. Well, right if you use the Canter site, and if you'll try it after watching this video. Share your experience, it will be interesting to read. See you in the next video. Good luck!